Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC on Vanilla FM and today we're going to do a slightly different episode. Um, I had, um, it's actually an idea that I got from a comment that I received on one of the videos from a member of staff from Hereford who was, um, you know, <laughs> a little bit sad that I fired him, that I sacked him from, from the game. So I thought, oh, that's a great idea. Let's go and see how everyone else is doing. Um, and where are they at? We are playing 2028, August of 2028 in the game. And I'm going to try and find all of the staff members and all of the original players that you get at the start of the save. So all the people in real life from Hereford FC and see where their sim is gone uh, in, the, in the game. Not all of them, I'm assuming, are still part of the database because um, the game doesn't always keep... Um, uh, records when they retire, but yeah, we'll try and find we'll, we'll try and find them. We'll start with the staff. So the assistant manager Slash player for Hereford in real life is Adam Rooney So I guess let's have a look see if we can still find him Adam Rooney this sounds promising. There we go So it looks like he's been an assistant manager for a youth team up in oh this looks like Ireland I think yeah Ireland Bray Wanderers FC so there we go so this this is Adam Rooney he played a few matches for us and then he left to be an assistant manager well good for you Adam let's look now at the under 18s manager that we had his name was Zeke Vivian Still in the game, Zeke Vivian, under 21's manager, and he's been a while. He's been uh, in a few places, so he played for a while, I guess, from 2022 to 2025. Uh, Bill Wells. Oh, it doesn't show that anymore. Okay, and then he went to be a manager for. Dorchester for the under 18s, then he was the caretaker for the main squad, and now he's at Taunton for the under 21s as a youth manager. Very good, very good. The physio, his name is James Hughes. James Hughes, James Hughes. Oh, there are a few people here called James Hughes. I guess it'll be this one, head physio. That sounds promising. Yeah, so I remember doing this. So we've transferred him from a physio role to a sports scientist role in the second season. And then I guess he left to be the head physio for FC United. So he's been there for a couple of years. Very good, very good, very good. So there you are, James Hughes. Now there are two players that I couldn't find in the database. So they, they retired at some point without um, a record being kept. And those are, if I can still find them here, Patrick Bialoas, performance analyst. Actually, he was the member of staff that left me a comment on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I think, so this is from 2024, 2025. So at the end of the season, I didn't renew the contract, I guess. And he must have retired in the meantime. The other member of staff was Sean Edwards, the goalkeeping coach, is also no longer part of the database. So there we go. Now, players. We'll start start with the goalkeepers and work our way down to the attack. So Curtis Pond. Curtis Pond, still a player. There he is. So after he left us, uh, he went to Ross County, to the Scottish Premiership, and then he moved to Greenock Morth. He's been there ever since. Doesn't seem like he's been playing a lot though. I have these leagues loaded. Um, so sorry, Curtis. Um, looks like you've moved to Scotland and have been not the main keeper where you have gone. Now the youth goalkeeper was Shay Sterry and actually Shay was with us until this summer. So I've just released him because uh, we have far too many goalkeepers. So sorry Shay, but you have been with us uh, ever since in our youth and under 21s teams. Next up we've got Paul Downing. Paul Downing is still in the game. He was a player with us and then he went to Stockport, Southport, sorry, 
Southport um, for a few seasons, and now he's he wants he wants to become a director of football, but he's not being employed as such yet. So, all the best of luck to Paul Downing in his future ventures. Nathan Cameron. Nathan Cameron retired. Okay, so it looks like he just retired and didn't. Yeah, left the game, and all we have is the biography. So, didn't become a member of staff. Nathan, I couldn't find Kyle Hawkins. Hawking. I can I don't know how to spell his name. Uh, but I can go back to the transfers and look for him. If I go back to all transfers and the second one, first one. Carl Hawkins uh, went to South Shields on a free transfer and then eventually retired. I don't know if he retired from South Shields or if he retired afterwards, but there we go. Kyle, that's where you went. You went to South Shields. Um, Oliver... Southern. Oliver Southern, still around. He went to Hungerford for a year and then Burgess Hill, where you have been playing a lot of matches. So you are enjoying football life in the non league clubs. Uh, after Oliver, we've got Mark Derricket. Still a player. So, Matt Berricket, we went for a free transfer to Bury, then another free transfer to uh, Macclesfield, then Matlock, and then Newcastle Town. There you have your history, Mark. Jordan. Jordan Cronston. Still around, he's a scout now. So, I sold him for 1k for to Gates Head. Then he went to Galway United for a couple of years. And it looks like oops. Uh, looks like he's been looking for jobs as a scout ever since. Very good. All the best of luck. Jordan Lidden. Jordan Lidden still a player. Oh, he's gone back to Aussieland. Okay, so for free transfer back to South Melbourne. And then was sold for 20k, which is quite a lot. Uh, and he's been a Brisbane Roar ever since. It looks like he's having a pretty good career in Australia. Very good. I couldn't find Aurelio either, so let's go back to our transfer histories. Aurelio Neto Teixeira uh, went to Hendon, and we don't know what else happened to him. So he's not part of the game anymore. Alex Babus. Alex Babers, also not in the... Oh, must have been in this list then. Oh, there he is. Alex went to Bury, and we don't know what happened to him, to him after that. Um, and then we've got Sunny Singh. Sunny Singh, there he is. Uh, over to Wales, I think. Connors Key with one year in Far Farsley on loan. But yeah, been settling in Wales, not playing a lot, I don't think. Uh, Adam Livingstone, still a player. Free to Bucky's and then from Bucky's on free transfer to East Fife. Playing a lot of matches, so it looks like he's enjoying life in Scotland. Connor Stanley. Connor Stanley retired, went to Connor's Key as well with Sunny, Sunny Singh, but um, there we go. Didn't become a member of staff. Lasana Mendes. Oh, Spanish player. Forgot about him. We sold him to um, Talaje. And then married her for free, Sestal for free as well. So he's basically playing in. In um, in Spain again, good for him. Jack Tolly, still a player. 
into Sol Salisbury and then Buckley. So he looks like he's just enjoying uh, the whale's life. Uh, Kobe, I couldn't find either. So Kobe Arthur went to Gateshead for 1k and then we don't have it. <coughs> any more history on him. Excuse me. Yusifu Sise. Still a player. Or, uh, no, he's not a player. He's his member of staff. So he went to Linares and then um, Kalauja for that. And then I think he's been unemployed. Yeah. So he's looking to be employed as a scout with no offers just yet. And then we've got a couple of players that we don't have any history for either. So the last few we've got. Um, they're not in this list. Can't find them. Uh, where are they? Hmm. I can't find them. So one of them is Andrew Williams. But it's not on this list. It should be on this list. And Jason Cowley as well. Hmm. Maybe they were free? Released? Oh, there we go. So Andrew Williams was released for free. So we don't know where he went. And Jason Cowley also released for free. And we don't know where he went. So there we go. So that's where they are now. Uh, in in the, um, in the game. I hope you have enjoyed that one. Next episode, we're going to take a look at the new squad for 2028-2029. And we'll look at some matches as well. Uh, I'll give you a sneak peek. We are not at the bottom of the table. Not yet, anyway. Anyway, thanks so much for watching till the end. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.